This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas, and I'm finishing up the beginner sweater in the bulky yarn. The next step is to sew this back to this sleeve. There are four raglan seams to be made, and the instructions say to put three of them in. We're going to leave one back seam open, but we're going to join the sleeve to the back, then the sleeve to the front, and then we're going to join the sleeve to the other front. So, to begin with, I'm going to stitch this seam. I begin by threading a tapestry needle. I pinch the yarn around the eye of the needle and then I push it through the eye. And then I'm going to begin the seam by coming in just inside the spot where the first cast off is. You can see if I stretch this a little bit, you can see that the knitting makes this this turn here. This is the top of this, these stitches that were bound off. And I come in just inside the chain, just inside the outside stitch, and pull that through. Now that was on the back, and then on the sleeve, inside the cast off. And there's the spot right there. I'm going to go ahead and draw that through. Now the first four stitches where it was cast off, the seam is actually going like this, knit stitches to knit stitches. So I'm doing a kind of Kitchener stitch. This was bound off, but I'm still going around two threads and not pulling completely tight so that what I'm putting in looks a little bit like a row of knitting. Of course, with these two different colors of yarn, it would never be invisible. But it's just a nice way to do this. So I go in the spot I came out, and I go under two threads, and then draw that. And then go in the spot I came out, and go under two threads, and draw that. Then I very quickly get to the place where the knitting takes a turn, and it goes up along the sleeve. And the important thing to see here is where to take the stitch. I want to take these stitches just inside the outside most stitch. So on this plain turquoise one, it's right here that I'll be doing a stitch. And on this colored one, it's here, just inside this outside stitch. So I go in where I came out, and I'm going to come up now in kind of a larger hole because this is the spot where the knitting turns. And the same thing on this side. I'm going to come up in that same hole. Now normally, mattress stitch is done picking up two stitches at a time. But I mattress stitch from here to here. Since there aren't that many stitches, with it being bulk yarn, it doesn't take very long. And what I want to achieve is I want these, these decreases to match at the seam. So I just pick up one stitch at a time, and it does a beautiful job. If you're in a hurry, you could do two stitches. There are a great many ways to seam knitting. There's a device called a linker that you can seam knitting with. You can seam knitting on your knitting machine. But Mattress Stitch does a beautiful job, and it really doesn't require any equipment. And you can do it in your lap. So it's, it can be very relaxing after you get the hang of it. OK, after I draw a few stitches through, I am actually going to pull this together. And then those two stitches just butt right up against each other. And it makes a very nice seam. I always go to the opposite side where I pick up one thread. I go in where I came out and pick up one thread. Then I come back to the first side, go in where I came out, and pick up one thread. And I do that for three or four rows. And then, of course, I'm right back at a decrease. And when I get up to the next decrease, I like to draw it up and make sure that it's matching the way I want it to match. So let me draw that up. You see how this decrease right here looks a little bit like a horseshoe cable. Here's a, the extra thread here and the extra thread here. So that 
that's what I'm trying to do is get those to match. And I'm making an awfully big deal about something that's really very easy to do. So I'll just move on along. I was on that side, so now I will go over to this side and get the next thread. Nope, that's where I was. Come over to this side, get the next one. This side, get the next one. So I'm just stitching through the horizontal bars and it's exactly like the mattress stitch lesson. The only difference is that I am picking up one bar instead of two each time. And I think I'll stop again and draw that up and we'll just see if that matches. So let me lay this flat so you can see what a nice, nice seam it makes. As long as you stay on a straight line, you could match your stitch a little farther in. But this double decrease technique makes a very attractive sleeve um, matchup because it makes this little double cable. So that's why I like to go exactly where I am going, which is one stitch from the edge. Here's a shot of the finished seam so that you can see how it should look. Look how nice and flat that is, and look how very straight that seam is. As you look down the turquoise, which is easier to sight down, the, with all these stripes, the other one is a little confusing. But see how that should be straight? Here's the bulky sweater with three of the four seams in. The pink sweater with three of the four seams in. The close-up of the pink seam showing how everything should look and how it matches. It's really been hard to capture how very pretty this yarn is on the camera. But it is just beautiful candy pink.